Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Kevin with Online Trader Central. Melissa Armo with the Stock Squish and Lee Jones with FitTrades.com are here with us today. They're both here, and we will be starting promptly in just three minutes. Three minutes start time. Again, Melissa Armo and Lee Jones. Melissa is with the Stockswish.com, and Lee Jones is with FitTrades.com. So thank you again, everyone, and welcome. This is Online Trader Central. Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Kevin with Online Trader Central. We want to welcome each and every one of you to the presentation today. Today, we're fortunate indeed to have two uh, key folks with us uh, Melissa Armo with the Stock Squish and Lee Jones with TipTrades.com. They're both here to present and they, they will introduce uh, themselves in the, in the appropriate order. But and now we want to welcome each and every one of you. Please welcome our host and presenter today, Melissa Armo. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin, and welcome. Welcome, everyone. My name is Melissa Arbo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh. And I'm here today also with another lady. Look at that. Two female traders are going to be doing the lecture today. How fantastic is that? Her name is Lee Jones, and she owns a company called Pit Trades. So today is going to be about sharing some of our secrets. I'm going to share a secret with you. Lee is going to share a secret with you. It's going to be a very interesting lecture and timely too, specifically because of what the market did today. So welcome. If you'd like more information, you can go to my website, www.thestockswoosh.com. And if you'd like more information, you can also email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. When we're done with the lecture today, we'll answer questions. You can plop in the room questions as we go along. And if we are running short with time, we'll get to all the questions at the end. So first of all, I'd like to talk a little bit about my experience and Lee's experience. I actually am a live trader. I'm an equities trader. I own a company, but I trade daily, Monday through Friday, when the markets open in the morning. And I've been trading for over five years. Lee is the owner of her company, too, Pit Trade. She's actually an options trader, different from what I do, but similar. She'll explain when she gets on today. She's had a lot of experience, over 15 years trading options and trading the market. So you're going to get some really good information today from both me and her about trading. 
And this is what I look like. This is my picture. Meet Melissa. I'm an equities trader. Everyone always asks me, do you really trade live? And the answer is yes. I run a live trading room and I call out the trades that I do in the room uh, every day, which is fantastic. Lots of fun. Very exciting. And this is Lee. She's an options trader. She also has uh, a call of her own trade. She does an email list that she sends out. And she's going to talk about that more later too, but this is Lee. This is what she looks like as well. Again, two female traders who are doing this for a living. It, there, there's not a lot of women that are actually trading in the market successfully for a living. And so it's very unique to meet up with ladies who do this. And I think it, it adds a lot of excitement when you see people from different places uh, doing different things and yet still doing them in their own way successfully. So, can you make a living as a trader? The answer is yes. And what do I mean by making a living? We were having a discussion the other day. Making a living means that you're making enough money trading the market to pay your bills, your food, your utility bills, your rent or your housing payment, your car payment, your credit cards, those kinds of things. The great thing about trading the market is not only can you make a living doing this if you really want to and learn how to do it right, you can also get extremely wealthy trading the market. Now, that takes experience and time to build yourself up to get to that point. When I started trading, my dream was actually to become extremely wealthy uh, trading the market. My dream was not to just do this for a living. Now, everybody has different dreams, but when I decided I wanted to do this, my dream was because I wanted to become a, a millionaire. That was my dream. Okay, I wanted to make a lot of money. I wasn't just looking to make a living when I did this. Now, I run into a lot of people and they want to do this just for a living. That's great. That's 100% realistic because I think a lot of people out there, uh, you know, have different goals and sometimes they're, they're very reasonable. People don't even know it. They don't even know how reasonable their goals are. And we're going to talk about that more today. So me and Lee are two completely different types of traders who both trade the market daily for a living. We have similar styles, but use different mediums. I'm an equities trader and Lee is an options trader, but we both trade the NASDAQ and the New York Exchange. So how can you become successful as an equities trader? I'm going to talk about that today. And how can you become successful as an options trader? Lee is going to talk about that today when she gets on a little bit here. One of the key ingredients behind every career trader is that they have secrets. And they are secrets. I mean, this is why you want to meet up with someone that's doing well. Because they'll tell you things that you might not learn from someone that wasn't doing well. These secrets help assist them in making successful trades on a consistent basis. And really, that's what it's about. It's about the consistency. There's a lot of people that are in the market trading, putting their money into the market, whether it's every day or on a weekly basis or a monthly basis or a yearly basis. And it could be something just leaving like an IRA or 401k, or it could be something like an overnight trade or even a day trade. But it's maintaining the consistency that a lot of people struggle with. And this is what sets some people apart that do very, very well and some people that don't because they can't seem to grab hold of that thing, that, that, that one thing, that key ingredient that would make them be consistent, consistently successful to the profit. So many successful traders have things they do well and very well. I mean, even excel at. You can call them secrets, you can call them edges, you can call them whatever you want. It is something special, something special that sets a successful trader apart from the rest, meaning everybody else is trying to make it. And let's face it, that's a lot of the people, that's most of the people. This edge can come from a skill set based on knowledge or experience trading, trading live. And not just experience trading live, but making money live. Because there's a feeling, there's a passion, there's an excitement, there's a conviction that goes along with that. It's something that almost can't, can't be taught. You've got to feel it. I can tell you what to do. I can teach you the knowledge. But you, you alone, when you take the trades and make money, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's how you're going to build up the conviction and know that something works and that you got it and that you feel it and that you're doing it and you believe. You believe the market can pay you and that, yes, my goodness, I can actually do this for a living and quit my day job. So you've got to get to that point. How do you get to that point? Well, a lot of people make money in the market, but just not consistently. It's the consistency that many traders lack, and they really, really lack it. I mean, people go on yo-yos. Why do they lack it? Well, one reason is that people have no idea how to read directional bias correctly. I've talked about this before. It's so simple, but it really is a heavy, heavy subject because this is why people aren't consistent. 
I know how to read directional bias very well. I, it's one of the secrets, okay, that I had that gives me an edge. So, what is the secret of Melissa's, which is me, it's correctly reading directional bias. Whether a stock is going to go up in the day, whether a stock is going to go down in the day, whether there's absolutely going to be nothing to do in the stock at all, and it's a, it's a no play, or what I call a nothing play, you don't do anything. Uh, I called this gap up on Netflix actually before it even did it. My video is on YouTube, and then it gapped up, and it held. And then I kept calling the numbers for where it was going to go to. And a lot of people probably didn't see this. Why? Because of the fact that it did have this huge red sell-off bar that happened back here in the earnings last year in October. Tried to get over the highs here, couldn't do it. This is the end of 2013. And also had a few gap downs. I mean, the stock actually gapped down a few times before it made this gap here, which happened in January on the earnings that came out in January. The follow-through, however, didn't happen till here. Right in here where the stock rallied up here and made new highs. This is a, an amazing chart, actually, that I've called well ever since the beginning of 2013. And I'm calling the directional bias in this. It's higher. It's higher this year. It's continuing to make new highs, and it will. How can I see this? How do I know how to do this uh, ahead of time and in the live moment? Because I know how to read directional bias. Here's another one here. This was CLV. This was back just in the end of January. It was actually a gap up. It was a gap up on the 200 period moving average. And I said, it's not good. It's not going to work. It's going to fail. It's going to fail. Don't buy it. It failed miserably. And actually, you could have shorted it. Now, I didn't do this. It's not something I do. I don't do failures. But I called this as a failure to, to alert people in the trading room not to buy it. And actually, someone shorted it. So, <laughs> because sometimes people do play the failures that I call. But again, looks like a good gap. Gapping up, gapping up overall this year, gapping up to the support, gapping up on the 200, but I called it as a failure. Why? I read directional bias well. Another one here is Apple. I could go on and on and on about Apple, but I did call that Apple would do something very significant in the earnings that happened uh, this, this past quarter for Apple in January. It was last week, and Apple gapped down. And I wasn't surprised. Why? Because Apple's in a downtrend. The gap down confirmed the downtrend in Apple. Apple is lower and is going to continue lower. And again, I have numbers for this as well. But this is a secret of mine. How, reading this, reading this knowing, knowing what the overall trend is, which is to the downside, knowing that it's going to continue, which it did in the gap, and seeing that this is going to continue, even though this is trying, trying desperately, really trying here, just since Friday, but it's not going to cut it. And actually, today's confirmation even continued and followed through to the downside more. So how do I know how to pinpoint directional bias accurately? And this is key because, you know, you want to be accurate because you don't want to take a long and then kill it and take a loss and then have to short something. And the worst thing you could do is take a trade in one direction, kill it, take it in another direction, go back and forth like this. I never, ever, ever trade like that. It's a, it's a mess. It's a mess for your mind. It's a mess for your account. It's a waste of commissions. You've got to know what you're doing, know the direction before you take the trade. Either it works or it doesn't. And that's it. Okay? This, none of this going back and forth. Oh, let me buy it. Oh, it's not working as a long. Oh, let me short it. Oh, it's not working as a short. Oh, let me buy it again. And all of a sudden, you just take four trades, and you did three things in a different direction. And what's your end result going to be? Losses. Okay, you have to know what the direction is before you take the trade. Have the conviction. Know the reason why you're looking at the directional bias that way. It must be accurate, and you take it. And that's the way to do it. Now, I'm going to talk today about the SPY, and the reason I'm going to talk about this is because it happened today. It was a great call that I made, and I think there's a couple of things here that I want to, I want to address about, about trading as well that I just was uh, thinking about today. You plan everything that you know, which is what I know when I, when I trade the class that I teach, okay, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit, which is how to read directional bias and gaps. You plan. You, you have all the information. You've got all the knowledge. You have the work. You do it in the morning before the market opens. You know what you're looking at to trade. You know the direction you want something to go, and you have it all planned. But in the live, live moment, as a real live trader, you must see things when they happen if they set up differently than you planned. So what am I talking about here? When I got up this morning at around 8 o'clock and looked at the market, the market was gapping up. Okay? It was a bullish gap. It's like right around here. I said, oh, interesting. We're going to follow through today. And I read the gap in real live time. Now, by the time before the open, 
look what the market did. It actually was not gapping up anymore. It was actually gapping down. Here was the close of Friday, and here's the open of today. Now, it wasn't a big gap down, but it was a gap down. What is a gap? A gap is when the closing price from yesterday is different from the opening price today. This doesn't look significant, but it was significant. And in real life time, I saw that. I saw the failure to go higher here plus the gap down in the morning and called a short in the market to a huge target today, which it actually went to and surpassed. And I called it very early. And you could have taken advantage of the trade, and we're going to go over it here today. Now, I, I want to talk about this, this whole spy, the whole market here. We are still in an uptrend. I love to short. It's my thing. I like to do it. I like to do it more than anything else. But the market's still in an uptrend. My call for this year is still, is still intact as of right now, despite this activity today, that in the longer term in 2014, we're going to stay in the uptrend, unless otherwise noted, or I see a change in the price action here that would make me see otherwise. But for now, my overall bias of the market is that it's going to continue and fall through in the uptrend this year, 2014, and we're still in an uptrend now, despite the deep fall off we've had in the last two weeks here, uh, which, which, which is deep. Now, I was looking for the market to fall in here last week harder, okay? And there was an area in here. This is an area here. Here the market comes down to support, comes down to support, rallies, comes down to support. Made the big bottom and tell this is into December rally. Gapped up. Came in, held, tried to go higher here. This is the beginning of this year. Gapped down, gapped down, had a hard fall, held. Did a double bottom, did a triple bottom. This is actually quadruple bottom here, really. But I kept looking here for the market to fall. Why? First of all, I felt the heaviness in the market. Okay. Second of all, because we're in a bullish market, I'm looking for people to buy, buy back in to make the move up. And the activity that was going on in here wasn't power buying, so I didn't think we'd get the lift to make it through over and above ourselves. We didn't have the follow through. One, two, three. We have no follow through here. The market was choppy back and forth, back and forth. I was looking for a deeper pull in. All again, I'm reading the directional bias. So I'm running in the short term time frame to trade intraday because I'm a day trader, which I was looking for to break and fall like it did today to the downside to a deeper, deeper area. But the overall trend of the market is still bullish. So again, you're planning, you're planning what you're doing today, and then you're looking at the overall bigger picture and you're seeing things, and you live in real time. If the market had followed through today bullish, so be it. It would have done its thing and I still would have done my trade, but it didn't. And this was a great call today because it had a really huge risk to reward and I know that a lot of people saw the gap up in the market, saw the way the market was holding in here one, two, three, four days and thought it would today when it retested the area and probably tried to buy it down here at the retest. But how did I know it was going to break when it hit before it even broke? Because of the gap, because of the fact that we gapped. And I love to short gaps. I love to short small gaps, big gaps, little gaps, teeny gaps, huge gaps, monster gaps. This really doesn't look like much, but it was real. And, and it's important to see this here today, and even for the people that are ready to do my class and trade with me, because i got to point it out, this really was very significant. And, and this whole thing here was significant, actually, the fact that we couldn't hold this. So no matter what you trade or how you trade, you've got to get the direction right. You've got to get the direction right or you're not going to make money. And nobody has time to waste getting in long, the quitting, chilling the trade, going short. Do, 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 do. You can't do that. It's just a waste. It's a broker's dream because they're making money off you just taking trades and churning and burning commissions. But it doesn't do you any good. And it really totally diminishes your overall confidence and self-confidence and conviction, everything you feel about yourself to do this. And by golly, you got to have confidence when you do this. You really have to have confidence when you do this. I can't have enough. In fact, I, I put some video on YouTube the other week and somebody tweeted something about this because I was talking myself up in the video. I can't do that enough. This stuff here is amazing when it works. It's amazing because I see it before it happens and I'm able to profit from it. It can be amazing for you too if you learn how to do it. This is the most fun thing I've ever done for a living. It is the most fun thing I've ever done for a living. When you know what to do, it's the easiest money you can make. And not only that, it, you don't even have to do this all day long. I don't sit and trade till 4 o'clock every day. I trade in the morning, I'm done. Now, you could trade all day if you feel like it, but why? You don't even need to. And some of these trades, like Netflix and Apple, you could just take one of these monster, huge calls that I've made and just sit back and make money for the whole year and not even do anything and just be in the trade all year. You'd have to be in it for a longer term, though, overnight. You have to get directional bias right. 
It is so important. It's one of the number one reasons why people lose. And if you're not consistent, you're probably not consistent because you don't know how to read direction. I hate to say it. Everybody goes on and on and saying, well, it's, I know what I'm doing. It's just my discipline. Oh, I've got to get my discipline right. If I just, uh, if I just had my discipline, I know I could do it. Probably not. It's probably that the thing that you're doing just doesn't darn well work. So just figure something out so you can get better as a trader. You know, a lot of times traders blame themselves. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Learn something that works. Okay? Don't go so psycho babbly on yourself that you feel like you got to go see a therapist. This isn't about that. You just got to learn what to do and get the knowledge and do it for Pete's sakes. Okay? You got to get the direction right in your trades. If you're not, then you got to learn how. If you're losing, you probably aren't getting the direction right in your trades. You've got to figure it out how to do this. You will make money more than you ever lose if you get the trade in the right direction. It doesn't even matter if you don't even hold it to the target. It doesn't even matter if you only take it and scalp it. You could take size and scalp it out. You could take it and hold it to a dream target. You could take it and hold it to 4 o'clock and walk away and put the stop in and put a, uh, an order in to take it out. You could do whatever you want. How? Why? How can you do this? You've got to get the direction right. So I'm an equities trader and Lee is an options trader and I'm going to talk about an equity trade today in the spine and Lee is going to talk about an option but the point is it doesn't even matter whether you did an equity trade, whether you are a day trader, whether you're an options trader, it doesn't matter if and as long as you get the direction right, okay? So you have to learn how to do that and it's all about reading price. So if you want to trade, you need a plan and that means a strategic method to pick direction so that you know what you're doing when you get up in the morning and you have the plan of action. And then you see the stock or the market on the live day. And if you see it doing something that it's not supposed to be doing, then you read it live, like the market today. If you had thought the market was along today and knew how to read price direction and gaps, you would have seen the bullish gap up this morning. But then by the time the market opened, seen the gap down and you wouldn't have bought it. So then you wouldn't have lost money in the long and you would have shorted the market to make money to the downside. Having the plan of action, but then seeing that something happens different in the live day. So I teach a class. It is a system. It's actually a system to rate gaps, which is telling me what's going to happen in the directional bias of the stock or the market on the day. It's a 26-point rating system. I actually go through 26 things for any stock that I look at. And this is how I read the market, too. You can do it with the market. The same thing. You could go through the rating system and rate the market. The purpose of this system is help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. And again, you could do this with the market. You could take my class and rate the gap of the market every single day. And then you'd know what to do with the market. Then you'd know what direction the market's going to do. And you know how to take your other trades, your core trades, or your day trades. So the 26-point checklist, it tells you what to look for. What am I looking for? It's in the price. It's in the price of the daily chart, which tells you what it's going to do on the day. So the class is called the Golden Gap Course. It teaches a strategy on how to trade gaps. And again, this teaches directional bias of the stock or the market or any ETF. The course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course teaches you how to read directional bias to trade the stock on the day. The course teaches you chart analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. And this is one of these secrets that I have. Looking at price in a very advanced way is, is a specialized area that is based on a skill set that I teach people. It's getting the knowledge to do this. Getting the knowledge to do it, putting it into practice, and then getting the conviction yourself when you see the real profits in the money. So the class is called the Golden Gap Course. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. The class is online. And it's this weekend. If you're interested, it's this weekend from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock Eastern Time, February 8th and 9th. The cost of the class is $24.99. And if you're interested, email me here at melissa at the stockswish.com. At the end of the class, we're going to talk about a special that Lee and I are doing a combo special together as well. So let's go over the trade in the spy for today. Here again is the move that the SPY made. The market actually had a, a very rare power trend day. What am I mean by power trend? Where the market sets up early in the morning and power trends all day in, the, in a certain direction. Today it was to the downside. Market has had power trend up days in this chart. Today was to the downside. It actually hasn't had a whole lot of power trend down days. 
This was one back here, actually, just in the last month. And then today was two. And I knew when we broke this area that the bar would be bigger than the bar back here. In fact, I even said it all in here. I said, oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a bigger day than this day. It just took a couple days for it to do it. And you see the extension here. And, you know, you got to take advantage of days when the market power trends, whether it's long or short, because you could almost take every setup, every single setup in the market that had happened today. But here was what I saw the market do. Okay, this is this is a spy in the open. The spy opened here, wiggled and jiggled, traded higher, tried to get over this area here, tried, tried and had to do it right away, but didn't and failed. Here was actually the confirmation. You, this was an aggressive entry here if you wanted to do this. Actually, this is more aggressive or right here. Then when it broke and rallied up here, here was the short. Right in here. Stop very, very tight here, and you can see where it hit. Here is where all of this is happening, all the break in here. Here's where it goes all the way through. Now here, let's go look at this in the daily. This is 177. That was that long bar happened before this. Now listen, this is important. First of all, I, I made the call before it even broke because I knew it would break if it touched it. But this is a gap down. You're in it. That red bar that happened, this is a one-minute chart. This red bar here is not the break on the daily. This is before it, because this is the touchdown here. I'm sure people try to buy this. They were stopped out almost immediately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, within 10 minutes. They were stopped out immediately. I'm sure people bought this, thinking that this was going to hold. But this big red bar here happened before that. And also, I saw this setup back in here, which is why you know I called the trade. But do you see why this is a sign of weakness? This is not a sign of strength. It came down to the support area, but you don't buy this. And also the stock gap down. I mean, the market gap down. I'm reading the SPY. It's an ETF. You can read it the same as a stock, okay? So look at this trade here. First target was 175. Second target was 174. It actually broke 174. This is no ads, no nothing, just one trade here, the trade I called in the morning at 9.56. Price of the SPY, if you wanted to short it, was 177.71. Stop was over 177.85. It was a 14 cent risk. This is an advanced risk of $560, which means you would have shorted 4,000 shares of this. Exit at the first target on this trade, no ads, no nothing, was $10,840. And I don't know if $10,840 pays your bills for the month, but do you see how you can make a living doing this? This is plain, this is one trade. You risked 560 bucks. You didn't have to do that. You could have risked less. What if you only risked 250? Half of this, you would have made over 5,000. Still a really nice trade. The risk reward in this trade, whether you took 4,000 shares or 1,000 shares or 2,000 shares with a 14 cent stop is 19 R's. 19 times the amount you risked you made in profit. This is a great trade. This is a great call. It was a great call not only because of the risk to reward, but because I saw the market directional bias to break. And I saw it four days before it did it. And this is what Lee can talk about. If you if you read directional bias the way I did, you could have done an option of this. Seen, seen that it was going to do it. Seen that the spy was going to get to 175. I've been talking about it for a week, and it did it today. Exit at the second target was 174. You could have made almost $15,000, risking 560. Risk to reward is 2650 on the amount risk made a profit. Again, can $14,000 pay your bills in a month? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So, in any event, this is really, really the thing to do when you see a call and you see the target at hand. When I see a stock that is doing something significant or the market like today, I know where the target is and I know it's going to go there. Okay? So how do you learn how to do this? Reading directional bias. Reading the directional bias and knowing the price that it hits when it gaps. And then seeing where it's going to go to with the target. Does everything go to the target every day? No. But lots of times things do. And as you see in this trade here, it, the market actually broke 174. It just ran out of day. I mean, just flat out ran out of time. So it's one of these things where if you knew how to read directional bias in the SPY today or in the last week or the last month, you could have day traded this, core traded this, swing traded this, and been in this overnight all the way down to the number, which was 175 actually. And you could have just stayed in it to 174 because it just felt like a brick today. You could have done an options trade in this. So many different ways to do this. But it all comes down to the same, same focus. The major, major, major crux, which is the gap, 
which tells me the directional bias, which is why I'm a great trader. I'm a great trader because I trade gaps. And gaps teach me how to take a trade in the right direction, how to read a trend of a stock or the chart or even the market and to see these entries, to do something like this. Uh, it's, you know, you can short the market at 12 o'clock, but isn't it better to short the market at 10 o'clock? You can short the market at 2 o'clock, but isn't it better to short it at 10 o'clock? Isn't it better to be able to take a trade where you make a 19-hour trade, okay? That means for every $1, you made 19. And if you held it to the all the way to the low to the end of the day, for any $1, you made 26. You don't even need to do this every day. You don't even need to do this every week. You have a trade like this, you have big days, two, three days a month, and you focus on what you're doing, keep training well, building your account, paying yourself, you're doing it. You're doing it. It's 100% it's possible. I mean, people go on and on and on and on and on. It's just what you have to focus on. It is possible to make a living trading, but you do need to know what to do. And in order to know what to do, you got to learn it. And it's just as simple as that. You've got to learn it. Consul's asking me a question. Consul, you've been in my free trial trading room. I think you've asked me this 10 times. Consul, I love you. I don't know who you are. You're a stranger to me. Gaps do not fill themselves. They don't fill themselves. I've answered this question before. You don't believe me. But I don't know what to say to you, Consul. They don't, sweetheart. They do not. And they just don't. How do I know? Because I'm reading the price of the gap. I'm reading them and I'm trading them and I'm making money doing it. <laughs> and so other people too that I'm teaching, they don't. It's false. I know there's places out there that teach it. Let it go. Let it go. Learn what to do. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> so this was, here. here's the trade into the, into the close. I mean, this is into three o'clock. So could you have done an options trade in the spy? Yes. Yes, you could have. You could have. So Lee's going to talk right now, and then when Lee's done, I'm going to come back and close up here, ask questions, and talk about the special. But, you know, here's a great example. I read this market coming in, a short-term pull-in, short-term pull-in, and then there'll be a place to buy. Not yet, not yet. But you can do an options trade taking advantage of this, or you could have if you knew how to read this direction, and, and you could have taken it out today with profit. So I'm going to hand it over to Lee. Here you go. Thank you, Melissa. Uh, can you guys hear me? I just want to double check before I move over and get started. Okay, great. Isn't she awesome? You know, in the amount of time I've known Melissa, you will not find anybody that has a better work ethic. Uh, she and I have been communicating after hours, weekends, it doesn't matter. We have a life, but trust me, we also know when we need to handle something, and that's what we do. Um, we try to make sure that we handle anybody that needs any kind of question or anything like that. Let me get make sure my presentation's working. And Melissa's a little more experienced at working with this stuff. Kathy, if you're standby, I'm going to make sure that you just guys let me know that you can see this. Can, you, can we see it? If we can see the presentation, I will get moving. Okay, awesome. Okay, I am Lee Jones, and yes, I, like Melissa, I got tickled because she and I are taking pretty much the same trades. We both trade gaps, um, and I love the fact that she has her 26-point system, so I think that's uh, very uh, helpful for those of you that don't know how to read technical charts. I am going to pull up a chart momentarily because we both traded the SPY today, but I want to go through a few things and make sure new people understand what options are and that type thing. A lot of times in my room, you'll see us type ATAD right here. Another trade, another day. We get tickled because that's not a ticker symbol. But we know we can't catch all of them. But as day traders, we try to catch, you know, several trades per day. Now, I, much like Melissa, I don't enjoy, enjoy sitting there trading in the afternoon. But when there's a lot of volatility in the market and it's bad weather outside, you may see me over there. And I'll trade anything that moves. I live uh, in Myrtle Beach, so in the summer, I'm going to be outside at the beach. I'm not going to be sitting here reading charts after noon. 
So we try to trade in the morning. I try to pick the best time to catch short trades. We are time sensitive uh, with our trades. I used to take uh, students through the exchanges in Chicago. We would go through uh, the CBO, we go through CME, and I'll try to show them then what the traders were doing at certain times of the morning. Because it's perfectly true. Once you learn what the market makers are doing, you look at this a lot differently. If you're a fisherman or you've ever been out with a fisherman, you know there's certain times that they will go fish. They don't even bother other times, and that's pretty much the way we are. Um, I am, as I said, Lee Jones. I've been trading for uh, 15 years. When I started trading, guys, online trading, retail trading was, was not existent at that time. I had to call my broker. I actually started trading before that. I had to call my broker and pay $50 for him to buy some stock for me. I would look at the newspaper, and I had a calmer pad, and I would map end-of-day data out of the newspaper and try to pick my trades. I would call my broker, $50 for him to put me in the trade, and then when I was ready to sell, $50 to get me out. There was no day trading that didn't exist. When E-Trade came on the scene, I was so excited because now I'm paying $29.95 for my commission, and I thought I was hot stuff. I could go in and make my trade and, and put it on myself. I still love my broker, but I could do it myself. Now I have brokers. We have our discounted rate. Uh, my group has a discounted rate. Um, we don't pay those type of commissions at all. So what I want you to understand is it's a matter of choosing options and choo choosing trades that fit your style. Some people try their best uh, to trade different strategies that don't work. And I'm here to tell you, if you don't have the system that works, you're going to fail. And I don't know why people think if they continue with the same input, they're going to have a different output. It does not work. So what I like to do are day trades. I do trade. I uh, heard Melissa mention core trades. That's what I do as well. I have certain symbols that I trade as, as cores. I may hold them. Uh, if you can see right here, I rotate one to five in, which means one to five nights. Okay, one to five nights. Um, I do trade complex strategies, but I prefer to stay with uh, calls and puts because I enjoy getting in and getting out. I'll trade anything that moves. I guarantee you, if you have a ticker symbol, I trade you too. And that's my line. I trade anything that moves. I do want to come back and chat with you just a moment. We'll come back and talk about it again. Uh, but I, Melissa and I kind of collaborated a little bit so we could come up with a bundle uh, class for you. So we'll talk about that a little bit more. But let me go over a few things about options that I think are interesting. Number one, I had a small account when I first started. I traveled. I am a, a, by, by trade. I am an ISO 9000 consultant. Anybody that's in manufacturing, aerospace, lab, automotive, you may know what that is, but it is a quality standard. So I'm a math and stat person. I'm all about statistics. So I'm all about processes. In other words, I put input one, input two, input three, and I should have that same output. Sounds right in theory, but it doesn't work in the market. Why? Because you have too many variables. So I, I think I would like for you to look, if anything, look at your 2014 year. Look at 2013. Have you been a trader? What type of, of success did you have? And how can you learn to improve for 2014? If you're a new trader, back up, take a deep breath, and take 2014 to learn how to do this. My kids started learning how to do this in the third grade. She bought her first stock in the third grade. She had enough money, Home Depot, bless it, part, tank one day, and I heard it on the news because, again, online charting and all of this was not non-existent. I called my broker, bought my shares of Home Depot on the drop. At that time, you know, I didn't even know how to short. My little girl had enough money to do one share of Home Depot. So when we booked out Home Depot and got our profits, she got her profits, and she was hooked from that point. She has traded before school. Uh, she's now in college, and she would get up, trade a little bit, and then head to school. So she's learned how to do this, and I, I do teach young people. I teach high school and up. But my kid learned how to do it, and I highly suggest that you sit with your kids. I sit here with pictures in my office that grandchildren and children have drawn candle charts, and they're four, five, six, 
10 years old and I frame them and I hang them up because those little kids are learning how to read technical analysis and read chemicals. So if they can do it, you can certainly do it. Now the beauty about options, guys, I hope this gets you excited. Let's think about a store just a moment. Let's say we have this fictitious store and we have our Valentine's merchandise. We're going to price our Valentine's merchandise because we're in our prime, right? Valentine's Day is around the corner. What happens when Valentine's Day is over and we still have merchandise? We have one of two options that we can do. We can hold it, try to sell it next year, or we can put it on sale. And that's the way I look at it with my trading account. I look at my inventory. My trading account is my store. I look at my inventory, my stocks, my holdings, my slips. Because, you know, to be honest with you, it's no different than me having a hardware store and we have a snowstorm. What am I going to sell? I'm going to sell quickly. I'm going to move my snow items to the front of the store. So I kind of look at the market that way. I look at it each day and think, okay, what can I do to the front of the store that I can rotate quickly? So I'm all about that. I'm all about compounding. But one thing about options, and the beauty of options is they settle in one day. Once I learned that, I was sick. Because with stocks, we wait three days for those to settle, unless you're on margin, obviously. However, um, I prefer my brand new students, if you're new to the stock market, I prefer no margin. I don't let any of my new students trade on margin until they, they and myself agree they're ready. But the beauty of the options is they settle in one day. It's dollar rotation. So I can take the profits of that day, move it into the next day. Okay? So I'm going to talk about this in a moment because, you know, Melissa's in and out the same day. So am I for the most part. I don't have time to hatch these things. I will put on trades for swings and longer term. I'll hatch those. But the income trades that I'm trying to trade for each day, I want to get in and I want to get out. Or I want to get in in the afternoon for a top in the morning. And that's been one of the best trades. I told you I would tell you a few secrets, and I will. And I'll show you that momentarily. But I want you to realize right here, if I have taken a particular trade and I've risked $2,500 on that trade, for a, 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 a swing, as example, I make a hundred, a thousand dollars. I the lifespan of that trade would be around 45 days. That's still not a bad gain. Back. That's not a bad return. But I like to take that same 2,500, make 500, and I'm in and out of that in one to seven hours. Sometimes it's one minute, sometimes it's 11 minutes, sometimes it's 110. Minutes. But that's the way I like to trade. I like to move in and out. Now, Melissa talked about Netflix, and I put this in here specifically because she and I both traded Netflix on that gap, okay? So she's trading it, looking at it a certain way. I'm looking at it a certain way, okay? We grabbed the, the same uh, trade right at the open. We grabbed it right at the open. I call that a vitamin because I think everybody needs a vitamin each day. So I tried to pull one out right at the open. That's fast and furious, and you've got to practice before you do that. But we went in at about, um, I would say 9.31, as this, this candle, that, and I'm on three-minute candles. This one is a 10-minute, so I can get the whole chart on for you, but I trade on three. There's one line. I, I can trade on one minute, but three minutes helps me get my entries better. And I can tell you right now that I went in, and I was out with that, trade in a matter of three or four minutes and I did if you look right here it's three hundred three dollars and sixty one cents here's the trade look down here at ten twenty two uh nine thirty eight where we got actually got our field we got in at a dollar forty nine let's round it up and say it's a dollar fifty okay we got out at five ten so that up here is a difference of three dollars and sixty one cents per contract now with an option you controlling 100 shares. If you're brand new to options, we need to back you up just a little bit, rewind and show you what that is. But with an option, you will put on this trade, you see this where it says $1.49, let's say it's $1.50. I'm controlling 100 shares, so I put $150 on that trade. Okay, $150. My profit, and again, this is because it was a wonderful gap. My profit is $361 per contract. So if I bought one contract at $150, I'm 
I made up $361 for my $150 risk. If you did 10 contracts, you can do the math. If you did five contracts, if you did two, if you did 20, that type of thing. I think it's a matter of trading to your account funds. I work with a lot of people on starter accounts, and you know, we're trading a $500 account. We can't put 10 contracts on So we have to take it short and sweet. But it was a beautiful trade. We turned around and traded it again. Uh, the next day, just like Melissa, once you learn direction, you're pretty well ready to go. Uh, same thing with the Amazon. Amazon, uh, this was last week. Amazon tanked on earnings. And like Melissa, we're looking for these gaps. You have to be careful with Amazon because Amazon, like Netflix, is a Wall Street garden. And people love to buy it. They love to buy it on the dip. So please be careful with some of these. However, the drop on Amazon this time was a little bit more substantial. So we shorted it instead. So going down, we're going to watch it. If you can look right here, you see down here where I have Amazon, AMD, and you have the last price at 363, the change of 3938. Underneath that, you can see we did the February 405. Right at the open, right here, we did the, uh, this is actually our second trade. We shorted it at the beginning, and we saw the quick bounce. We got in, and these are three-minute candles. So this trade was over in three, six, nine minutes. This trade was over in nine minutes, okay? So you could have bought this option at $0.79 cents or $79, because you can sell it in hundred. And you could have sold it at 92. That fast. You make the difference between the 79 and the 92 times the 100 share you can sell. It kind of looks at it uh, pretty simple. So, this was uh, an afternoon trade I wanted to show you. This is a live trade that I talked in Friday um, because Melissa and I were talking about trying to have a, a, a few live trades for you to look at that are relevant. That's what we try to do because we're both relevant in day traders. You know, we have trades that happen every day. So I wanted to pull this one out for you. This is actually Yahoo. And I wanted to pull up an option chain. Again, if you're new to options, please bear with me. It's worth learning. But as you can see, on um, Friday up here, January 30th at 155, I noticed that we've got this move up. I trade these particular averages. I trade particular numbers. Again, I'm a math person. And our, our confirmation set up, off we go. We bought the option right here. So we bought the 35 call. And you can see the last price is a dollar seventy-two. And that was me. I bought that at a buck seventy-two. That translates into $172. So I risk $172 per contract. Okay? So if I did one contract, $172. If I did 10 contracts, $1,720. Okay? Within two or three minutes, because we didn't wait for this whole thing on that big volume candle up there, we're ready to take it because we're, we're quick scalpers and traders. You can see that it hit 189 by 190. I was out at 188. That's me right there. I actually took that trade at 157 from 155. I took it a two minute trade just so I could build this example for you. Okay, so if you see that we've got it at 172, we sold it at 188. 16 cents, doesn't sound like a lot, but it's $16 of profit per contract. Okay? So if you did a 10 lot, that's been $160 a month. If you did a 20 lot, did that. Okay? So I wanted to show you how quickly you can move some of these. So some of these are, are trades for daily and weekly income. I'm going to go back to the SPY right there. Just uh, make sure I can get my SPY on here. I think I have to stop this. And come back. So give me just one moment and I will try to come in. Can we see my spy chart? If we can see that, it's the same thing we traded today. We traded this, this block today. So we traded the spy 169 pit, meaning we felt like it was going down. So we put it, I tell people, any way to remember that, you put it in the trash. Okay, it's black. I'll go back to it and just say where I am. I don't think that chart's going to pull up. But we did trade that up to that. And tell me, Melissa, or Kathy, somebody that can see me. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. Give me one second to get my self set back on. Am I back on again? 
Okay, let me do that. Oh, Kathy, stop me. Okay, just one second. Sorry, guys. Thanks for your patience here. Okay. Um, I wanted to show you a live, live uh, chart, but since I'm, I'm not quite proficient with this particular software, bear with me. That spy we chose was the one sixty nine foot. Okay. We bought it for 89 cents. Okay, we bought the kit because we thought it was going down. Right, by buying it for 89 cents, we, how much did we put on that trade? Remember, it's a sold 100, so it's 89 cents, times 100, 89 dollars. We sold it about 30 or 33 minutes later for a dollar 50. Okay, so from 89 to buck 50, that's 61 cents. That's 61 cents times 100. $61 in profit per contract. So if you did two contracts, that would have been $610. That's the market has trades like this for you every hour. They're out there. It's just a matter of do you choose to sit there. I don't. I know when the institutional traders are trading, when they go to lunch, and when they are looking at other things. And, you know, you learn to kind of piggyback with them. But if you're a momentum trader, you like what you can do with the option because it's less risk, but it's a great reward. Now, people will always ask me, you know, I don't understand how you can buy an option if the market's going down. Well, that's the beauty of the strategy of options because if the market's going down or if the stock that you're looking at is going down, let's go back up here and look at the um, Look at Amazon again. Because we have this gap down you know, on three minute charts, I never do anything um, really aggressive that first three minutes. I, I will, I, again, I, I'll try to get a feel, but it takes the market makers, you know, 30 seconds or so before the option actually prints. So when you day trade options, you've got a little bit of what we call a spread. So just like with the stock, with a bid and the ask, if you can see here with this Amazon, I have that spread 89 to 93, okay? So I'm going to pay the 93, which is my retail price. So understandably, these things move and they move fast. They move correlating with the other line. In other words, they move with the stock. So you've got to be able to ascertain which strike to choose, which month to choose, give yourself the most time. I think most people make mistakes with options because they think every trade they put on is correct and they jump in the trade and they'll sit there and hold it and hold it and hold it. And the next thing I want to tell you is options expire. They expire. Stop does not expire. Options do. So you really don't want to play with those until you get some education and understand how to use them. But once you do, Again, this is a great way to grow starter accounts. Most of my um, group trades a starter account. We all do. I do. I even trade a five hundred dollars starter account, and I'm and I'm a professional trader. I, I trade forty seven accounts because I do uh, manage trades as well. But I always have a starter account because it keeps my skills sharp. If I can take that five hundred dollar account and double it to a thousand, that's sweet. I don't try to do that during the open when I'm trying to make my income, but I'll find some trades here today and I'll go in and try to make some money to keep growing my account up. So it's great for starter accounts because, again, when will it settle? The next day and we're ready to go. So I think using that in conjunction with what Melissa does, um, I think you can see how you've got the beauty of the two to merge together. I think you can see how there's some good, good leverage here. Um, to be honest with you, um, you don't have to have 25k to day trade options. I'll show people how to do that. There are ways to, you know, there, it's all legal. There's ways to do that. That is a misconception, but again, we don't have time to get into that. Um, to be honest with you, you don't even have to have that for equities, but again, you've got to know what you're doing. You've got to have the right broker. I know how to play against the rules and, and don't get into trouble. I get in trouble every now and then with, with uh, good faith violations and things like that. I know I know how to do it and I know what to do and I know 
uh, legally that I can make X amount of trades until my account gets a certain size. And I do that. I stay within in the limits. I stay within the, the rules and the regulations. I do exactly what the rules are. And that's how I do my accounts. Because I didn't have, I didn't have 25,000 in my story. I don't make, I, I didn't have it. I had to grow it. I didn't come for money. I had to work and make every penny that I, that I have. And therefore, I'm very meticulous about what kind of claim I put on. I had to learn this. I had to get in there with the big boys and do this. And I've been teaching it for a little over eight years. And I've got a group that trades with me every day. They don't need me. They, they don't need me at all. But we trade together because we enjoy being together. We enjoy this. As Melissa says, this is one of the most fun things you'll ever do. And to get to make a living. So um, we do, we meet up, we you know, try to make sure everybody knows each other. Because if you're going to be in a room with somebody, I need them to know what to look for. I need them to know that uh, uh, today we did GoGo, G-O-G-O. We did the put on it. Look it up. It's February, write this down, February 19th. February 19th. We bought it at a buck 30. A buck 30. We sold it at about 65. Okay. You can go back and look at that. It's, it's just a beautiful way to train. I'm going to stop talking here so I can come back and, and get it back over to Melissa because I think she uh, wants to help answer some questions as well. Let me um, get back over here to you. Thank you for your time today, guys. I certainly appreciate it, and I do appreciate Melissa. Uh, this gal's awesome. Melissa, back here. Wonderful. Great job, Lee. Very, very exciting. And, and if anyone has any questions for Lee, just plop them in the room there, too. Um, as I'm finishing up the lecture here, uh, she can help answer some questions as well. I know Trades Sheet has a question there, Lee, if you want to answer uh, his or her question in the room. So it's really about how to achieve your goals. And again, as I was saying earlier, everyone has different goals. You have to start training in a, in a manner that you can have a plan of action to achieve your goals. Because if you start out, you know, hog wild, you may not give yourself a chance to reach your goals. You have to be very reasonable and have the goals at hand and know what you want to achieve. So ask yourself, where do you see yourself in a year? It's, it's February 2014. It's very early. It's the beginning of the month, the beginning of the calendar year. In one year from now, what would you like to be doing? Would you like to be a full-time day trader? in options or equities that you're trading the market full-time from home, working from home instead of going to an office, and what do you have to do to make that happen? It's about how to become successful making money in the market because in the end, that's the goal. That's the goal for everyone. It's, it's pulling the money out, getting the income, pulling it out every time you see an opportunity. Like Lee was saying, you know, it's capitalizing, capitalizing on the opportunity. Like today in the market, the way the market fell, that power trend day, in order to short that, you, you were capitalizing on the opportunity that was there. They're present in the live time. So learn from people that are successful and doing it daily. And this, this sounds like something that a lot of people do, and yet... People really don't, I think, take it seriously enough how important it is to learn how to trade because you can be back and forth for a long, long time, in, fa in fact, for an infinite amount of time if you don't really buckle down and say, you know what, i got to get serious about this thing. I really want to do it. And the minute you get serious about it and decide you want to learn how to do it, you'll be amazing how quickly all of a sudden things come together for you and you're making money and you're doing it. And like I said, it's easy and it's fun. So learn from real traders who will help you get there to kind of put the pieces of the puzzle together, like me and Lee. You're putting the pieces of the puzzle together, getting the directional bias, taking the trains, and you can do it as an equity or an option. I'm working on something right now with my friend Tom. It's called the Millionaire Map. I'm, I'm working on this and I'm setting it out where I'm going to be putting on my website. How can you get to a point where it takes you, you know, a, a one to five years? I'm probably going to do a one to five year plan that you could trade the market and become a millionaire because it's very possible. And I know not everybody wants to trade the market and become millionaires. If some people just want to do it for a living, but you can make millions of dollars in the market. So I think it's good to have a, a, a goal out there, a plan of action to do it. And if your idea is to actually become a millionaire, this is a great way. 
So the Golden Gap course is a complete system to use to train. It will teach you how to make money in the market. It will teach you how to correctly read directional bias. And when you know how to read directional bias, you can profit from the market in many, many ways. You can do it for a living, for investments, or for the rest of your life to become wealthy if this is really, really what you want to do. It's up to you. You pick and choose what you want to do and set your own course. So the class is called the Golden Gap Course. It's this weekend, February 8th and 9th. It's Saturday and Sunday from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock Eastern Time. The cost of the class is $24.99 U.S. dollars. If you're interested in signing up, email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. And we are doing a special with me and Lee. If you want to do the my class and her class together, her class is March 3rd. So my class is this coming weekend. Her class is March 3rd. It's a package bundle deal for $29.99. This is, this is a great deal, people. I mean, this is really, really fantastic. You can do my gap class and Lee's options class for $29.99. So if you're interested in this, email me and we'll get you the information. Those are the dates. Uh, uh, so I have a question here. What time of the day are institutional traders active? Uh, various times of the day, typically over lunch, they're not active. But the heaviest time of the day when institutional traders are looking at the market is in the early morning, which is when I'm taking my aggressive trades. If I don't take a trade between 9.30 and 10, then I'm really not going to take a trade on the day. Those are the times when the institutional traders are looking at things. They're getting into the office, they're looking at stuff pre-market and post-market, and they're taking positions on and off into the open. And that's why you see the volatility on the open. And it's very important to learn how to read that and trade it. And also, they're doing things pre-market, because what is making the gaps when you see the gaps? What makes the gap in Apple? What makes the gap in Netflix? Large institutional money. So they're making those positions. They are buying it or selling it. And that's happening after hours or pre-market and into the open. That's the heaviest, most active time. And that's why you have to learn how to read gaps. That's why you have to learn how to read that. You have to learn how to read that time, that opening time period of the day to profit from it, to get unity, to make money. Good question. So your path to success is the Golden Gap class because it teaches you the directional bias and how to read technical charts very intricately. I'm also doing a special this month. If you do the Gap class this weekend in February 8th and 9th, I'm giving the Wealth Manifestation class for free. It's normally $399. This class is from 1 to 4 on February 25th. If you want to do this separately, it's $399. This is a trading psychology class. We really get your mind on straight and excited about trading and talks a lot about how your brain acts in reference to your decision makings with trading. So this is a special offer for anyone that does the GAP course this weekend, new students February 8th and 9th, you'll receive the trading psychology class wealth manifestation for free. So you're actually saving $399. Plus the class offer with Lee, if you want to do that for $29.99. So you get three classes. You'd actually get three classes for $29.99. Lee's options class, the wealth manifestation class, and the two-day gap course. This is really a great, great deal if you want to learn all this. It just really sets you up ready to go, ready to go into the year and to set your goals and make all these things happen. So the time to learn is now, 2014 now. And if not now, when? If not now, when? I ask this question because there's a lot of people that say, well, I'll do it then, I'll do it then, I'll look into this then. If, if not now, when? It's not the time to put things off, the time to do it is now. I want to put two pictures in here. This is where I live in New York. This is a view from my apartment. That's the George Washington Bridge. And this is where Lee lives. And she was talking about it too in Myrtle Beach. Beautiful. So when you trade the market successfully for a living, you can live where you want to live. You can have the lifestyle you want to live, whether it's in New York or on the beach. It's a great, great career if you learn how to do it right. So make this year your best trading year yet. Thank you so much for coming, everyone. Any questions? It looks like right here at the time, right at the time. Does anyone have any questions for me or Lee? Thank you so much. Thank you, Online Trader Central, for having us. Here's my email if you're interested in the class or more information or the special. Three classes for $29.99. You can't beat that, everybody. Great way to start out the year. It's still early enough in the year to take advantage of this market and all these great directional moves that are happening and setting up. Thank you. Wonderful.
Great job. An email with any questions. Thank you so much, All Night Trader Central. Have a great night, everybody. Email me if you'd like more information at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thank you so much, Lee. Have a great night, everybody. You're welcome. And thank you so much for your time and your participation. Uh, we, we encourage you to take advantage of uh, the offers from both uh, Lee and Melissa. It is now 5.31. We do need to close. So thank you, everyone. Have a great day.